Hey everyone, Ross McCorkle here with another episode of the Depot 180. The Pittsburgh Steelers extended their ridiculous Monday night football home win streak with a 26-18 win over the New York Giants. That puts the Steelers at 6-2 entering the back half of their schedule when things get pretty tough with all six divisional games and tough games against the Chiefs, Eagles, and Commanders. A lot of the preseason projection models had the Steelers struggling to get to six or seven wins for the season and they already have six wins before the bye. They are first place in the AFC North due to the Ravens dropping a game to the Browns this weekend, a shocking upset to say the least. Russell Wilson continued to look good. The game was much closer than it probably should have been. The offense had very little troubles getting into the red zone, but they were having issues punching it in once there. There were two touchdowns to George Pickens called back, one due to penalty and one due to Pickens failing to get two feet inbounds. Najee Harris logged his third straight game of over 100 rushing yards for the first time in his career, and Wilson spread the ball around in the passing game. There were five players averaging over 30 receiving yards per game with Wilson compared to just two over six games with Justin Fields. Wilson getting everybody involved and passing the ball to all areas of the field has opened up new opportunities for the entire offense, and I think Harris's rushing performance is a good indication of that. The defense allowed far too many explosive plays and let up way more yards on the ground than they typically do, but when it mattered the most, they forced two turnovers to seal victory for the Steelers. TJ Watt strip sacked Daniel Jones and recovered it himself, and then Beanie Bishop Jr. had his third interception in the last two games to seal the deal. Speaking of Bishop, we will have to see what his role looks like after the bye week. Cameron Sutton was just reinstated by the commissioner and added to the exempt list until after this upcoming week, so the Steelers have a little time to maneuver their roster accordingly. Sutton is expected to be the starting slot option, but I would imagine Bishop has earned himself some additional snaps at this point. Regardless of what happens in Week 9, the Steelers will remain atop the AFC North until Week 10 at the very earliest. So they have a great opportunity to push the gas pedal down and seize control over the Baltimore Ravens by the time they play each other for the first time in a few weeks. Up next is the Washington Commanders, but first, the bye week. Let me know how you enjoyed the video on Twitter at Ross underscore McCorkle, and as always, visit SteelersDepot.com for your latest and greatest Steelers breaking news and analysis. (laughs) 